Tesla have revealed their safety report. I mean, is it really safer to drive a Tesla vehicle using autopilot or full self-driving than it is to drive it yourself? Well, if you ask electric, they'll say this is all lies. And no, it's not safer. Tesla's making all this up. I actually don't agree with them. I, I think that, well, here's what I think. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. Great to have you with us. I'll be at the Sydney EV show on the 8th, 9th, and 10th of November. Would love to have you with us. And I have free tickets for all of you. Even those of you who are from the States, fly over, uh, you know, just camp out here. Or you know, Anyway, come to the show. It'll be great. The link is in the description to the free tickets, guys. Tesla have revealed their safety report, their Q3 vehicle safety report. I'm going to share with you these, this information, this data, and then I'm going to share with you my opinion on this. Do I believe this is all a bunch of bullshit? Like, no, some... People who don't like Tesla are saying, I don't. I think there is some truth. There's some perspective that's being applied by Tesla. But anyhow, Tesla's Q3 2024 vehicle safety report shows that Tesla's operating with their autopilot technology crashed far less than the national average. All right. I honestly think that is true. Now, I have no incentive whatsoever. I get, As you guys know, Tesla have never offered me anything at all. Um, even though I've made more videos about Tesla than probably anyone else on the internet over the last five years, Tesla have never, I don't think Tesla even know that I exist. So I have nothing, no reason to say this, but the truth is using Tesla's autopilot, which I did for about nearly two weeks, driving about 2000 miles, uh, just this month, right? The month of October, I believe Tesla's autopilot is incredibly safe. I do, I think it's safer than me as a driver. It never gets distracted. It's really, really good. And because it doesn't involve things like lane changing and you know stopping at traffic lights or anything complicated, it's a very simple system. It's not really um, complex like full self-driving. I don't think I really don't think Tesla's lying when it says using autopilot is safer than driving the car yourself. Every time in any situation I drove guys, I'm talking all through I drove during the night, I drove in the early morning with the sunlight coming up right in the you know right in your eyes i drove in the late evenings i drove in the middle of the day i literally drove it all hours of the day in california yes i didn't drive when it was snowing but it was raining at some points of time heavily and other times it wasn't all different kinds of driving and i drove autopilot most of the time because i believe it was safer than me driving i honestly do now do i believe full self-driving is safer than me maybe Possibly, sometimes yes, sometimes no. When I, when I drove the Tesla Cybertruck, I drove it for about 20 miles and I didn't touch anything. There was no interventions. It did stop correctly at traffic lights. It went down some intersections. It stopped. It actually did some creeping forwards because it couldn't see at one point, just like a human driver would do. And I believe the Cybertruck, there may be interventions. Other people might drive it for longer and find these interventions. That may happen, certainly could. But from my experience, it drove more smoothly. I've told many people in person this. It drove more smoothly than I possibly could. I could not possibly replicate the throttle modulation of full self-driving. Um, I found that I was tr I was actually trying to. I was like, okay, here's the goal. Gamification. Try to drive as smoothly as what it just did in full self-driving. See if you can do it. I couldn't do it. I just couldn't drive as smoothly as what it did. I was shocked by how good it was. Now, does that mean full self-driving is always going to be safer than me? No. Sometimes I believe it won't be. Most of the time I think it will be, but sometimes it won't be. And those very, very, very few times that it won't be, well, yeah, who knows? Are you ready to take over? You just got to be ready to take over. But you might not be. You might get complacent. In the third quarter, Tesla recorded one crash for every 7.1 million miles driven in which drivers were using autopilot technology. For Tesla drivers who were not using autopilot, the company recorded one crash for every 1.3 million miles driven. So it's about seven times more likely you'll crash if you're not using autopilot. But obviously, I don't think most people use autopilot in dense, um, high stress city situations. I think it's used more on highways and freeways. Sometimes, you know, stop start traffic on highways and freeways, that kind of scenario. And I actually genuinely think Tesla isn't lying about this information. Tesla's ADAS reduces accidents. If you have a Tesla, you should use the ADAS, says Jimmer. If you don't have one, you should consider getting one and use the ADAS. Every single thing about auto accidents is terrible. 
and we now have the technology to reduce technology to reduce accidents dramatically. Truthfully, honestly, um, I have used the autopilot functions in Hyundai cars, in uh, Fords. I've used it in MG. I've used it in lots of different vehicles over the past few years. I wasn't confident in their autopilot technology in any other car, none. I know it works, but I wasn't confident. Put it that way. Now, for context, Tesla noted that the most recent data available from the NHTSA and the FHWA shows that there was an automobile crash every 670,000 miles in the United States. This suggests that on average, Tesla's autopilot technology and its driver assist features are a, well, an improvement for the company's vehicles, I mean, they're safer, right? It's safer to use these systems. Musk said this autopilot is a major safety improvement. Now he didn't say it's better than anyone else. That's just all he tweeted. Now apparently in uh, Q3 of 2024, Tesla recorded one crash for every 5.4 million miles driven when people were using autopilot technology. Now, sorry, that was actually Q4 of 2023. Now, what that means is it would appear that crashes using autopilot have gone down. They've been, become less frequent. And for context, um, crashes have actually kind of increased though versus the first quarter of this year. Tesla recorded one crash for every 7.63 million miles driven in which auto drivers were using autopilot in the first quarter of 2024. In Q2, the number was one for every 6.9 million. So it looks like the numbers kind of go up and down. I'm not really sure why that is, but the average is around 7 million versus approximately 1 million if you're not using it. But of course, it's not really like, for I, like it's not apples for apples because a lot of the time when you're not using autopilot, you're doing probably uh, local street driving. That's where you're probably more likely to have an accident than you are on a freeway. Unless you live in Los Angeles. My experience seeing freeways in Los Angeles, they, are, they can be crazy. These street race maniacs in LA, <laughs> I mean, the first night I drove into LA on these these freeways, you know, six or seven lanes driving into LA, people are driving pretty quick. And, you know, people in the, the far left lane are doing probably 80, 85 miles an hour. But they're not driving, uh, most people are not driving dangerously. Then you get these psychopaths just flying past you doing like 150 miles an hour in and out of traffic, racing each other. And I saw this happen quite a few times. Now, this sort of thing on the freeway, did scare me because you can't predict what these dickheads are going to do. They essentially will change lanes in a couple of seconds from the the first the, the lane to the far left to the far right. So they'll change seven lanes within a couple of seconds. And if you're in their way, good chance you're going to get hit possibly because they're so arrogant. They think you're just going to get out of the way for them. You might not have the time to get out of the way for them. So that's the kind of scenario where, you know, I don't know how that's going to play out if you're a human driver or if you're using Tesla's autopilot. But I did feel like that was scary. I've got to say as well, on freeways, people can break really fast. You're coming around a corner, you're going pretty quick, and all of a sudden, all the traffic is stopped. You're like, holy smokes, you've got to slam the brakes on. And I honestly think Tesla's autopilot slammed the brakes on sometimes a little bit too hard. It kind of freaked me out a little bit. I'm like, Tesla, you're breaking too hard here. You don't need to break that hard. That can happen sometimes. And that could be, that was a little bit uncomfortable. But for me, 99% of the time, when I was on the freeway and I was using Tesla's autopilot, I felt like it was doing a better job than I was. It was more focused on the job at hand. It braked correctly. It, cre it kept a good distance between us and the car in front of us. I was pretty confident that it was good. So I don't really agree with the naysays. I think Tesla's autopilot system is better than a human driver. But of course, that is probably not the case. It's not going to be the case in situations like dense city driving where you're having to stop start at traffic lights because that's not what autopilot is for. So based on all this, do I recommend Teslas? Do I recommend full self-driving? And of course, autopilot, well, obviously I do. I think it's a good upgrade and it's better than relying on yourself. Humans are arrogant creatures. We are honestly incredibly stupid. We think that we're always aware, we're always paying attention until we have an accident. And guess what? We always blame the other person for accidents. Not all of us, but much of the time we do. But it's often our fault. I've done this before. We all tend to, you know, here's the thing, right? How often do you think to yourself, oh, I just missed that crash. You know what you're often doing? Having a conversation with someone in the car or on the phone, having a conversation, you're distracted. 
and then you just break in time. You're like, oh, I'm glad it broke in time there. That does happen, right? It does happen. Maybe you think I'm a great driver, that never happens to me, but it probably happens at least once a year. Autopilot never has that, never has a call with anyone else, never gets distracted. So I think it is safer. But let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching.